Mastering commas in non-defining relative clauses. Hello language explorers, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into a new and exciting chapter of English grammar, non-defining relative clauses. We will specifically discuss how to use commas in non-defining relative clauses. Before diving into the use of commas, let's quickly remind ourselves about non-defining relative clauses. These are the clauses that provide additional information, but the sentence would still be complete and meaningful without them. Think of them as the bonus details that aren't necessary, but are nice to have. They are always separated from the rest of the sentence by commas. Now, let's explore how commas come into play. The commas are used to set off non-defining relative clauses from the rest of the sentence. This indicates to the reader that the information within the commas is extra and not essential to the main point of the sentence. Example, my brother, who lives in Canada, is a doctor. In this sentence, who lives in Canada, is the non-defining relative clause providing extra information about my brother. The sentence would still make sense if we removed this clause. My brother is a doctor. Let's see some more examples to really understand the concept. Example 1. The Eiffel Tower, which is located in Paris, is a famous tourist spot. Example 2. Mr. Johnson, who is my English teacher, has written a novel. Example 3. My mother's homemade pie, which I absolutely love, won a prize at the fair. In each of these examples, the non-defining relative clause is set off by commas. Just to recap, there are a few key points to remember. Non-defining relative clauses provide extra information. This information is not essential to the main sentence. Non-defining relative clauses are always separated by commas. And there you have it. We hope this video has helped clarify how to use commas in non-defining relative clauses. Keep practicing, and soon enough, it will become second nature. As always, happy learning and keep exploring the intricacies of English grammar. See you in the next video.